Hello, this is the Progressive Geek. If you're like me, you probably found it frustrating. You have not been able to stream on TikTok from a PC. And you probably read articles like this one saying, hey, there's this streaming software called TikTok Live Studio. And I've talked with some of my um, TikTok friends who say, hey, you, well, I'll just go over there and download it. You know, I don't have any problems. And they don't understand why other people are having problems or don't have access to it or can't do it. Um, this is like the tech TechCrunch article from almost a year ago, last December. It says TikTok has been testing this Windows program called TikTok's Live Studio. And in here they say that you know this program is currently available only in a handful of Western markets for a few thousand users. Well, I don't know it's, if that was a while ago, it's probably changed since then. Um, I, I think a lot more people are you being able to use that, but you may wonder why you can't find it or can't download it. Um, you might find some shady websites that say, hey, click here and you can download this thing, but it turns out it depends on where you live. Now, if you look at this link here, it may be difficult to see in the screen, but um, it's actually a link to uh, TikTok.com, and it's uh, slash studio slash download is the page. So, so like if I say, oh, that's cool, I want to, I want to download this. So if you click on it, um, you end up with a page like this. Oh, this noise. Okay, you can look up here. Oh, it's the for you page. Um, <laughs> it's like, well, wait, I thought I went to the download page. So I'll, I'll show you what's going on here. Um, oh, the other thing is, is I thought, well, maybe it was, uh, they changed this way back when, um, I, I like this site archive.org. They've been around for forever. They archive the internet. Um, so when the TechCrunch article came out, it was in December last year. I did a search for this, you know, TikTok.com studio download and say, okay, what did the archiver archive for this particular page at TikTok? Now you can see the days that um, archive.org took a snapshot. They took a bunch of ones on this day. Um, but, you know, we can pick one of these. And if you click on it, you'll see you come up with this page. Now this will try to redirect in a minute, but see you get an HTTP 302 response and it's a redirect code. Um, back it up. It's a redirect code that takes you to the For You page. Now, let me show it again. It's, it's, it actually tries to do the redirects. So you only have like a few seconds to look at it. You can see it redirects to the for you page 302 response. Okay. So what a 302 redirect is, it's a web server. I mean, 302s are usually used to say, oh, this old page is no longer available, but you know, so your web administrator may say, well, I mean, that is the old page. We do have a new page to replace it with, but you know, you don't want to show the user a 404, you know, say if they had the old page bookmarked or something. So you can do like a 302 that will say, here's the new page. And it tells your browser here, here's the new page, go to the new page. But in this case, the 302 is being used to navigate you away from the download page and just stick you on the for you page. If I go to the dev tools here, I mean, sometimes people think this stuff is scary, but it's just the dev, dev tools that just, just used for troubleshooting things. You know, developers of websites use this frequently. So let me just um, clear this. I'm on the network tab to show network you know, HTTP requests and responses kind of thing. 
Okay, so here's the uh, studio.download. And if I hit enter, um, I'll have to turn this to noise. You'll see that 302 right here. Okay, so TikTok comes back and says, um, redirect from this page and you end up going to the For You page. And then that succeeds. So you're being redirected. And you know, you might think that, well, maybe, uh, maybe you don't have that page anymore. But you know, the Wayback Machine showed that it was getting redirected back when the page certainly was supposed to exist. So let me just close this. Um, the other thing's interesting. Um, you, you know, you may see a lot of pages like uh, this, this guy's YouTube channel where he talks about, yeah, it's a mystery why some people don't have access to this. So one of the common questions I get asked is how do I get access to TikTok Live Studio? Unfortunately, we don't really know. All it says here on the website is it's only available for some creators. To see if you have access. Another clue is that a lot of these creators that are doing this how-to guide, this is how you download it, blah, blah, blah. We don't know why, you, if you can't get it, but they, they, they usually have a British accent. So I mean, that should give you a clue right there. Um, so let me show you something. I like NordVPN. Um, they're one of the few VPNs that hasn't been bought out by some shady company yet. I'll just click on the UK flag here. They're connecting and boom. Basically, I created a VPN link to one of NordVPN server in the UK. Now, when I do anything on the internet, it'll appear, you know, to the web server that is coming from the UK. So let's go back to this article and let's try this link again. Look at that. Get rid of that. Look, you're at the down the studio download. So if you live in the UK, you can download this fine. If you live in the United States, it's no dice. They have their server set up, the website server set up to detect if your IP address is from the United States, just redirect them to the For You page. Don't give them the option to download this live studio software. Now, I won't demonstrate this here, but if you do go down, if you do download this and set it up and everything, um, you can do the live streaming, but you still have to do it through a VPN service, which is less than ideal for streaming. But if you have a very fast internet connection and decent VPN, you, you can do it. Even if you have the software and you start to stream, they still check the IP address and filter it out unless you have the VPN set up or if you happen to be visiting the UK. Now, why, why do they block the US? I don't know. There could be political reasons. Who knows? That, that part is still a mystery.